I used to take like seven pills a day. Seven pills a yeah. day. Yo, it, it used to make me crazy. Like, <laughs> even when I was just in a room full of dudes, I was like, I'm fucking somebody. I don't, I don't know what the. Is y'all honey? Is anybody on the this bitch? Nigga Paul. Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy Genuine. You're watching this is 50.com. Genuine, where you been? Where you been, oh, boy? Man, I still been around, man, doing my thing, man. I'm always doing um, um, clubs, going overseas, and um, just just trying to stay on the road, man. I'm, I'm, I'm been in the game now for 15 years, so my catalog is a little nice, so I'm able to still, to continue to work and everything. So. Word, word, hey, man. Though I feel weird by saying this, but I'm a really, really, really big genuine fan I appreciate though. Like, that, man. i remember the first time i went and saw you in concert it was in when i was living in atlanta mm -hmm. i was 18 years old yeah and i had this uh i was dating this older chick uh -huh. and she was crazy about you so i took that's her to that what, shit that's what's up. and then you had a whole bunch of other like grown ass women because i'm still a little boy <laughs> and they was throwing their panties on yeah. stage they, yeah. they was pulling them right down by me yeah. and yeah. throwing them on stage they bros all yeah. kind of it was crazy man <laughs> Girl. My girl took her panties off. Ah, uh, right. cut it out. I didn't even hear it yet. I didn't even hear it. She took her panties off oh and threw God. them at you. I helped you though. Yeah, you had. I, I, I won that there, night. There, 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 you there. got them ready. That's all that matters. Man. Yeah, yeah, you did matters. your thing, man. Because yeah, yeah. you was like a better Bobby Brown. Yeah, you was whooping yeah. Usher ass. <laughs> All the mother, they couldn't fade you, dog. I appreciate it. Man. You was a bad motherfucker, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Stop using words. I'm still a bad. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was bullshitting when I said I don't know where the, where the fuck that was came from. Yeah, nah, you, man, you, you I still mean, can do that shit, though. Yeah, man. I still do my thing. I'm a little older now, though. Mm -hmm. You see, I got the knee brace on, so yeah. so I ain't as flexible as yeah, I so was. So you ain't ponying well. like yeah, you used to. Not like I used to, but. <laughs> I, I think that this was, was like a really crazy, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of disappointed in you and a little mm -hmm. upset with you, man. Uh -oh. When you got married, I was like, why did you do that? Because <laughs> cause you dog, every girl wanted you, man. I, mean, I, mean, I wanted to be you, dog. You crazy, man. I mean, you know, that's life, bro. You know what right, I'm right, that's, right. That's, that's life. You find that one that you love, and, and, and the one that you love is a good, not a good person, a great person, mm -hmm. great mother, a great woman. Mm -hmm. And um, you don't want that to go. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You, I mean, because you're not guaranteed that again in life. So, you're not. Yeah. Um, I fell in love. I'm still in love. And um, I married. You know, family and, and, and entertainment is two different things. You know, I always felt like people who really, really, really supported me or really loved me, not saying you didn't, but really, <laughs> really, really appreciated me as an artist, they would appreciate the fact that I'm happy. Yeah. Really think like I like it. Tell me is that Oh, for people that got their own perceptions of who you are, man, yeah. who is genuine? You know, uh, back in the days, you want to know now or back in the day? Man, go on, tell me what happened. You, who was you back in the day, dog? <laughs> tell them, man. You go back in the days, man, I was just a party head, man. I was a freak. That yeah, was uh, oh, back then just a real carefree brother, just somebody that just wanted to have fun, just wanted to be in the business, wanted to be a singer and get a lot of ladies and and you know I, I did that. You know if I die tomorrow, I got I gotta say you know I had a great ride. You know I, I'm a gentleman, but you know I can get a little attitude every once in a while. So you know I'm I, I'm I'm a great father. I'm an okay husband. We've been married seven years, going going on eight. Years would be eight years in September eight. So um, a lot of artists that get married, they usually don't stay together. Every time somebody um, sees me or something, or they see us together, they be like, "Oh, y'all still married? Y'all still Word. together?" So that's a great thing, man. I, I would rather be an, an example of, of how to be than an example of how not to be. Hey, so Jimmy, what was one of the biggest misconceptions about you, man? Uh, one of the biggest misconceptions is probably I'm conceited or I'm arrogant or whatever. I'm very silly, very um down down to earth you know my people that's always around me they always be like man you don't realize who you are man i'll be like man the hell with that and again that comes with age mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like um did you used to be conceited and arrogant no nah, i never honestly i mean honestly speaking i never was i you know in high school i had to always try to prove that i wasn't like mm -hmm. that you dig what mm -hmm. i'm saying so that followed me you know as you go in high school and you getting older and older that becomes who you are god know what he be doing <laughs> dog if, if i look like you ah! i'll be arrogant and conceited in the mother kiss my ass nigga. <laughs> bitch look at me i'm genuine 
You what's wrong with you? Boy, you? Look at my hair. Boy. You said I got. <laughs> I'm talking to you for. I got good hair. I was watching this um, this documentary on Missy on VH1. Oh my girl. Yeah, yeah. And she was talking about how y'all came up with Devon Jay. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about it. How, what was it like coming up in the basement, man? The basement was fun, man. Well, I mean, I think every family has their run-ins and everybody has their little issues that they have to deal with within a family. But all in all, I, I never, I never would want to take take it back. I actually learned a lot from that experience. And um, Devontae was a great talent, man, and he had a great eye for talent. It's evident in, in, in the people that he chose and, and then people that came out. Missy said when she left the basement mm -hmm. that it was, uh, it was like a real dramatic thing where they beat, he, uh, he had the, the security beat up all the guys in there. Yeah, we wasn't beat up, you know what I'm saying? It was like they came in there like throwing stuff, pushing people, smacking people. When he came in the room, he was throwing chairs. Me and Missy almost got hit in our head with a chair because it was thrown over our head. His bodyguards went down the row and like really smacked all the guys and like kind of dared them to hit him back. And that was one of those situations where, you know, we, we all was like, okay, this, this is it. You know what I'm saying? So, you left too? Yeah, I, well, I actually left after Timberland and Missy because I still felt I felt like I needed to stick it out because if it wasn't for him coming to Washington D.C. picking me up, I might not have been, you know, been able to do that. So I, I still had that love. I still had that, you know, thing where I thought that he he was gonna he was gonna um, make it happen. But you know, after a while, you know, I saw Missy, you know, blowing up doing her thing, and she constantly called me. It's like, come on, you, you know what I mean, you too talented. You got to get out of that. You don't deserve that. You know, they ain't gonna never do nothing and blah blah blah. So. I, I, I took her advice, and now I'm here talking to you. Word, word, word. I was um, reading that you like somewhere that you had some issues with Timberland about like a song or something like that. Long, so y'all relationship ago. is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now we easy now. Um, it was something that was told to me by, you know, the label at that time, and obviously, you know, some of it could have been true, and some of it um, uh, may may not have been true. But I'm I'm very, you know, when something goes wrong, and I'm, you know, involved that that close, I get emotional and my emotions run wild and I might say things that, you know, I might want to apologize for later. But me and him, we're, I mean, we're real good. Ho hopefully we'll be able to um, work again, man. I think they are all ready for that, man. Yeah, I think regardless, you know, regardless of your problem, well, my problems with, with Timberland, you know, uh, we don't have no problems no more, but regardless, I still think he is the is the best producer in the world. So what's going on today, Genuine man? What's the what's the move, man? Right now, man, we still um um I just got off my um deal, you know. So I'm a free agent now, thank God. I'm a free agent, you know. So now um, I have new management, Blue Williams and Larry Martell, uh, and um we're gonna try to get a new deal. Actually, we have a few deals. I think you should be hearing something at the top of the year, maybe the first or second quarter. And then me and my wife, we're working on, of course, a reality show. What you want to say to the people before we get out of here, Jim? Oh, what I've been saying the whole interview, man, it's, 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 it's a great thing that I'm here. I just want to tell um, you know people that I've been there through the drugs. I've been there through the alcohol. I'm still here. I'm still doing my thing. Back in uh, back in uh, uh, 99 and in 2000, when my mom and my dad passed, I had a, a horrible run with drugs. And you know it was really just ecstasy and um, 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 Hennessy all the time, every day. I used to take like seven pills a day. Seven pills a yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I How many do you take now? None, dog. Oh, okay, none. Cool. I, I, man, I stopped that. Stopped that after I got saved in 05. So, 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 I, you know, after that happened, I really had a, a bad, a bad time. But no one ever really knew it, you know what I'm mm. saying? Because I still, you know, kept it on, on under lock and key, you know, mm. still did my shows, still did everything. And that was that young adrenaline running through me, you know what I'm mm. saying? I'm here to tell you, just keep going, keep pushing. I know a lot of um, artists out there go through a lot of stuff, but um, you know, all you gotta do is believe in God. Just keep pushing, and and and, and He'll see you through, man. Hey, yo, you know I can't let you leave out of here, man, without showing us a couple of moves. Oh, you gotta man. show me a move. Man, do the water thing. Wait, man, man. Go, go ahead and do it. No, you like, going, you doing do it like this. You gotta do your fingers. Oh, it's in the fingers. <laughs> yeah, it's in the fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then hit it all the way through like that. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna pass it back to me. Yeah. Pass it back. <laughs> oh shit, I feel stupid. Ah, oh, don't feel old. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, um, like I always say, you just can't say you really something. You got to be, man. We were genuine. Yeah. This is 50.com, man. Yeah. We Fifth. over and we out, man. Do I have something in my eye? Yeah. Y'all go to commercial. We out here. <laughs> Big star. Remember, <laughs> bitches over money, baby. <laughs> <laughs>